Hi everyone, now welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and turn on the church sound system step by step. Whether you're new to sound systems or just need a refresher, this guide will help you get everything up and running smoothly. So let's get started. First things first, let's start with the heart of our sound system, the Soundcraft UI24R mixer. Now, this digital mixer is a powerhouse allowing us to control all the audio inputs and outputs for our church services. Now, to turn it on, I will just simply press this button on this side here. Now, you see the lights? It's turning on. We made sure that our connections are secure before powering up. The Soundcraft UI24R is controlled via a web interface which will access using our dedicated PC and touchscreen monitor. Let's move on to that next. Next up is our PC and touchscreen monitor, which is right here, which we use to control the Soundcraft UI24R. So this PC is already connected to the mixer through uh, our network cable. So there's our network cable. All we need is to turn on the PC. Now, let's turn on the PC that we use for streaming. This handles all the visuals and audio elements that go out to our online viewers. On this computer, we have three key programs. Easy Worship for displaying lyrics and scripture, OBS Studio for streaming to platforms like Facebook or YouTube, and Ableton, this is what we use for recording uh, our audio. Once we have opened Easy Worship, let's open our schedule. Then make sure our scenes in uh, OBS is correct and our camera feeds. We also have our logo. Then this is our Ableton live for exclusive audio recording. Now let's move on to our video setup. We use HDMI splitters and extenders to send video signals to the TV monitors around the church. This monitor display lyrics for the congregation and the music team, ensuring everyone is on the same page during worship. Here we have already plugged in our HDMI splitter, connecting the PC running Easy Worship to the extenders. Here are the extenders. These extenders carry the HDMI signal over longer distances using a network cable. Allowing us to reach all the TV monitors throughout the church. Next, we need to set up the spotlight, which also powers the camera. This spotlight not only illuminates the stage, but also provides power through a connected power strip. Let's turn on the spotlight first. So here we will be powering on our spotlight. Now we need to connect the camera feed to the streaming PC. We use an HDMI cable to connect the camera to an HDMI extender, which then feeds directly into the streaming PC. Now here's our camera feed, powering up by tightening our power cable. Make sure connections are tight, and then also with a with the extender for our camera feed. Almost done. Next, what we do is we power up 
the speakers which also turns on our TV monitors. Last but not the least, let's turn on our camera. It's already powered up by the spotlight, but we'll have to turn it on manually. Make sure that it's focused on the center of our church stage. Make sure that the camera is set to the correct resolution and frame rate for streaming. Check focus and adjust as needed. We're all set up and ready to go. And that's it. We're all set up and ready for our church service. Setting up the sound system and streaming equipment might seem complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes second nature. I hope this guide was helpful for anyone looking to learn more about church audio video setups. If you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this, drop a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.